name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, his name is Loveless Lyle, and this is the Weekly Dumb. Nice shirt, Jake. Lobsters. James. Zach. Everyone with us. Hope you had a fantastic 4th of July weekend. We're in the teeth of summer. That one was for Zach. My shirt and my jacket are the same color. Similar colors. Similar colors. New and nice, old and stinky. Button your jacket. And you'd look like a guy no one wants to talk to. Oh, but actually with both buttons, now I'm back in. Tell me about the sports, kind Jake. Let's talk some baseball. People love baseball. Your guy, Uncle Rob Manfred, had an awesome, awesome interview the other day where the first question was, do you like baseball? Uh, do you like baseball? Oh, yeah? <laughs> Name five players. Name five. Oh, can you, uh, well, who was, who fielded the last out of the 74 World Series? Oh, kind of all day. But Jim, the actual topic we want to talk about. Uh, robots. He says he wants robots in 2024. Also, that's his last year as commissioner, so I like the concept of him just implementing changes and bouncing. See ya. Have fun. I'm all for automated balls and strikes coming to the big leagues. Once it's done, I think you can't botch this. In New Jersey, they botched Easy Pass. Can't botch this. They put it in too soon. Uh. And then like two years later, it was like, now you can have 50 mile per hour ones when we had 15 mile per hour ones. And it was like, New Jersey, you should have just waited two years because now you got to redo it all and people will hate it. The thing that's good. No so tolls that's, in Connecticut. Learn from Easy Pass there's because a horrible, there's a horrible accident, accident yeah. at a toll booth. There's a horrible accident, so they'll yeah, never do it again. Semi-truck driver like, killed every <laughs> MLB. Rob Manfred, learn from New Jersey and Easy Pass. If you implement this, it's got to be good. Do an umpire impression. Ah! Stike. And that brings us, speaking of foreign baseball, this is almost a breakdown you're talking about. We're going to the cricket where Joe Root, he's an English bowler. He hits to uh, not an attractive fella. Like if you were to picture like a British sailor from the 1920s. A thought bubble with a, like a handsome British sailor. Well, Joe me. Root, he gets a wicket playing New Zealand. And uh, Jake, I just showed you this. It's pretty wild and interesting. So he bowls the ball. The batsman, his name is Henry Nichols, which sounds more British than New Zealand. He bats it. Like a line drive up middle is what we would call it. They call it like uh, straight on. I forget. Uh, hey, straight on. It hits his partner. So his partner, his running his mate, is, is standing there, and he tries to dodge it. Hits his bat, which keeps it in the air, and then England catches it for the easy wicket. Very bizarre series of events. How bizarre. Jake, more sports. How bizarre. American sports. James, uh, I wouldn't call this bizarre. I'd call this right. Joey Chestnut reclaims his title as the best hot dog eater this world has ever seen. With an injured leg, with being assaulted, and then doing the assaulting, Joey Chestnut wins again by 20 dogs. Uh, greatness. And we think this is real? That picture? What are you talking about? I have Joey Chestnut and hot dog eating contest fatigue. Like, he hasn't had a challenger. Like, he beat Kobayashi, and that was a great storyline. And then Kobayashi was doing it from a rooftop because he wasn't allowed to do it, and that was hilarious. But that's going back, I think, 10 years. I think that was 2011 oh, when yeah. that happened. So we're 10 years, and I've said this the last three years. 15-time champion. Yeah, Straight. I was just like, no competition. So how do you make it interesting? If this is fake, I applaud them. If this is real, I applaud Joey Chestnut alone. If Joey Chestnut died tomorrow... <laughs> The race for second place would be, or the new race for Lyle first place. Lyle would cry his eyes out, and he doesn't even know who Joey Justin is. He's just He's a, a sap. fucking sap. But like us, he looks good in Mizzen and Maine. It's his self-confidence that's bad. It's shot ever since he lost his arm. Yeah. Well, ever since he was alone with Aunt Jan that one night. <laughs> not sports, Jim. We're going back to New Zealand for the not sports. They have a law in New Zealand that says you're allowed to poop in public for sure, as long as no one can see you. Yeah. Which is like a lot of laws. You're allowed, a lot of laws. You're allowed to do a lot of things if you yeah. don't get caught. That's kind of living. But I do like this because if you're on a trail, you're running, or you're camping. Right. Like, well, it's like, come it's on. It's a sense of security. And, and how do you get in trouble? Like, basically, if you get caught on a security camera pooping, like, we don't care. Because the only other way you get caught pooping in public is someone sees you. Anyway, they're trying to change that. And they're trying to get it so that if you poop in public... You now have to prove that you were 50 meters from a waterway and that you buried your own shit 15 centimeters under the ground. What's the process for that? Like, is it an app 
that measures distance, and then there's a government official just looking at everyone who just shit in the woods somewhere? Governments suck. Why are we spending time on this? You know I'm one of the biggest advocates of pooping whenever you got to poop. And uh, it was like, find a toilet. Find it because when this first popped up, I looked outside in the streets of New York and I was like, okay. And then I was like, oh, well, no, there's people around. So if you have to poop out in nature, poop out in nature, you had a great point about the animals. Yeah, animals poop all the time. Case closed next. I might be a bad guy here, but when we walk through the woods with the dogs and they go off the trail and poop and then. And then my Katie's like, we have to pick that up. I'm like, well, there's deer shit right next to it. Like, right. is there a difference? Is one, That's a real Between question. Between dog poop and deer poop? And yes. bear poop? And like, is there, there's a difference to like what yeah. it does to the earth? No. I took your dog on that trail. Don't fucking touch me. I did dog. took your dog. Don't I did. I did. I took your dog, dog on that trail. I'll send Zach a picture. There's pics. So that's the Not Sports, which ends the show. That ends the show. Show's over. We're not doing Employee of the Month. It's not Zach. What we're not doing, Employee of the Month. Employee of the Week. And seen this in a while. Reminds me of our history teacher, Mr. Nolan, who ripped a phone book in front of the class. Oh. I just ripped the fucking ad read. Who's the Employee of the Week? I gave it not the Employee of the Month to not Zach. Oh, okay. I was going to give Mitch Employee of the Week. Dressing the part. Filming. And he's making a documentary. Take a picture of him today, please. I just made, when he walked in, I made an audible noise. Ha. You think, you think Lyle is more horny than sappy? Equal parts, but he's such a big sap, mm. is all I need to say. Okay. Thanks for watching. That was the Weekly Dumb! I'd like to wish a happy 10th birthday to Mizzen and Maine, the sponsors of this episode. They're celebrating their 10th birthday by having the biggest sale of the year from July 8th to July 11th. So don't forget to check it out right now. If you go to MizzenandMaine.com and use promo code DUMB, you'll receive $35 off any regular price order of $125 or more. Dress, snappy, feel, comfy, look good. Good celebrate birthdays. Mizzenandmain.com. M I Z Z E N A N D M A I N. $35 off. Bop, 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 bop. Bop, 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 bop. Bop, 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 bop. Bop. Focus on bopping. Sometimes you get lost in the bops. Ah. They introduce everyone and like the crazy guy's going and oh, the number one eater, he's eating the most pierogies and they eat old Joe Manana. Ah. And they did everyone that way except Joey Chestnut. They had on one of those uh, those mechanical things that just go up and down. The <laughs> and he was just right next to the stage and they just raised him up. Wow, because he's hurt on you know, crutches or something? They didn't have to do that. It was just because he's Joey Chestnut. Okay. He is. Is he actually he's hurt? He's the one. Yeah, he like hurt his foot. Doing what? He's in a cast. I don't know what he does. Slipping on some food he ate, maybe? Now we're going to have all the chestnuts on us.